Hello, this is Angela Anderson and today I'm going to show you how to do a nest painting. A painting of a bird's nest with eggs in it. And um, this is an example of my artwork. Uh, ours is going to be much more simplified than this. The first thing that we need to do is cover a canvas with, um, I covered it with burnt umber, but you can use any color you want. You need a piece of chalk and a number four round brush and some various beiges and brown colors for your nest and a couple of different blue uh, a light blue and a darker blue um, and then a white so it's pretty simple let's get started <clears throat> when you um, when you're sketching your nest the first thing you need to think about is that when birds build their nest they have pieces that they kind of go in a circular shape. I'm going to do this one kind of an oval. I'm not going to necessarily use all of this, but this is just going to give me a general direction of, of where my boundaries of my nest are going to be. You don't have to very carefully paint over all of your lines. Just give yourself a little bit of an indication of the direction that you want to do your brush strokes in. Um, so the outer edges of the nest are going to be going uh, in a circular motion and then the middle of the nest is actually kind of just a hodgepodge of, of lines kind of uh, all interwoven to create a base. So those are more uh, random in the middle and then the outer edges are more um, carefully placed. So that's our basic sketch to start with. I'm going to start with this yellow and I'm taking, we're using a number four round brush and we'll do all of the whole painting with this brush. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of water. Notice I'm pulling from the side of my um, puddle. I'm not trying to water down the entire thing. I just want to pull a little bit of paint out and water that down. Um, then I'm going to twist my brush through the paint to get it to come to a point and and I'm just going to, and I'm not going to go exactly over all of these lines, I'm just using them as a reference point, but I'm going to um, put this over here where you can see it. You see that? Oops, I just dipped it in my And I'm just very lightly touching the tip of the brush and quickly pulling it in the direction that I want it to go. Um, I wouldn't try to very carefully draw out each branch because it'll uh, it'll look more natural and um, just find it looks better if you do it quickly. So. And you can kind of wiggle them too if you want, if you want some kind of wiggly lines in there. And then in the middle here, you're going to very carefully with the just the tip of my brush, just do a few little strokes in different directions. Okay. And I'm doing smaller strokes and thicker strokes. The, the harder you push down on the brush, the thicker your line is going to be. Um, and the lighter that you go, the thinner it will be. Okay, so just do a variety of thick and thin lines and once you get a few um, in like that, kind of a good base, then you can um, switch colors, just clean out your brush, pick another color, and get this so I'm going to do the here. same thing with this and in fact I think I'm going to speed it up and I'm just going to use a variety of each one of these colors in, in turn and fill in the nest, okay, so I'm going to speed it up. Um, at this point and come back and talk to you in a minute. Okay, at this point I have my nest mainly filled in. Um, and I wanted to point out a couple of things to you. The first thing is that if you notice I left brown, the dark brown uh, background showing in places and that helps give depth to the painting if you were to crowd the bristles in too closely um, then you wouldn't have that 
uh, feeling that there's stuff underneath. Um, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but uh, mainly you just want to keep keep some space between the branches. And at this point, I'm and and some of them you'll want to crisscross a little bit. If you notice, some of them I've crossed over other branches and that helps it also to kind of make it look uh, more like they're uh, sort of nestled in there together. And I'm going to show you now um, to finish the nest part I'm going to take some of the lightest color I'm not using pure white I'm using a like an off-white a titanium buff or something similar and I'm going to kind of highlight this center area you don't have to do this with the kids if you don't want to it's kind of just an extra step that helps the nest have a little bit more of a dimension. Um, but I'm going to add some lighter color here and there in some of the areas. And there again, I'm being careful not to touch it all over the top. I'm going kind of in between wherever I see in a space like this that's got um, room for color. Because I don't want to cover over everything. I just want to add a little bit more highlight to this center area right here that where the branches might be closest to you and might catch a little bit more of the light. Okay? And that's good. I don't have to really do any more. And that now see how that made this dark this center part look a little bit darker um, just by putting a little bit of the lighter color in the middle part of that so nest. I'm going to take my chalk and I'm going to sketch out where I'm going to put my eggs on this one. And I'm not going to overlap them because when you do the overlapping it gets a little bit tricky to do the shading. So I'm just going to keep my eggs separated. Um, and I'm going to draw out three eggs kind of, uh, together in the middle there but they're not really touching. Then I'm going to take my paintbrush and I've cleaned it out. Side. And I've got this um, kind of a light mm -hmm. aqua blue. Carefully just paint around the edge. And also the thicker paint will help cover. Um, and if you've got a paint that's not covering and you're seeing a lot of the background showing through, I would probably do this in two steps. I would do this once with this blue and let it dry and then do it one more time. But my paint's nice and thick and I'm, I'm putting it on heavily so it's not going to, it's not showing the background through too much. Okay, so I've got it all filled in now. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to wipe that paint mostly off my brush. And I'm going to take a darker blue and just a little tiny bit. I found that this, you don't really need a whole lot of this color. And I'm going to use the, I'm going to shade the bottom portion of the egg. So I'm going to paint a little bit of paint along that bottom portion of my egg. And then wipe it off on my paper towel. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to lightly tap, tap, tap 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 along the edge and blend that edge into the lighter blue and you want to be sure your paint's not drying if your if your blue light blue starts to dry um, you'll have to stop because if it's starting to lift off the, if it starts to dry what will happen is it'll lift off the canvas before you can blend it Okay, I'm back. This is completely dry. I'm picking up a little bit of white on my brush. Um, and I'm going to figure out where my highlights should go. Probably um, toward the front area of the eggs. And I'm just going to tap in a little bit of color. I'll do these one at a time. So I'm going to tap in a little bit of white paint. I'm going to rinse out my brush. Clean it off on my paper towel. And then I'm going to very with a little bit of little tiny bit of water in my brush just a little bit I'm going to use that to pull the outside edges of don't touch the center of the white paint you want to leave that completely white but you're just going to lightly tap around the outside of the edges of the 
of the white. And then once it starts looking about like that, you're going to need to dry off your brush completely. And then you can go along that very outer edge and blend that out too. Okay. I'm picking up just a little bit of paint and I'm going to tap it in, dry brush out, dry brush out, pull around the edges, dry my brush out, pull around the edges some more. This is where it's important for this blue to be dry because if you go over the top of it a little bit you don't want to lift off that color. Okay. Alright, so that's good. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to use my toothbrush and I'm going to put some speckles on my eggs. And these are dry now. And I've got water on my toothbrush and I'm picking up just a little bit of burnt umber. And then I'm going to touch it on my paper towel just to get off the extra drips. Hold it in a f your fist with your thumb facing the bristles like this and point it down towards your canvas where you want it to go and run your thumb against the bristles and a stiff bristled toothbrush seems to work the best and if you get one too many in your highlight area you can take your paper towel and just kind of tap it off um, and it'll lift off some of the darker color here and there okay so I like speckles on my eggs. If you don't want speckles, you don't have. You can skip this step, step, but I think they look kind of cool with the speckles on them. So, anyhow, thank you for watching. And if you want to show me your projects, if you try this, I would love to see them. You can share them on my Facebook page or my Google Plus page. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.